I don't ever want to see you again. So recently, I stumbled across another. Oh, oh shit! I, I forgot to play, play, play the intro. Play the intro. So recently, I was browsing across the internet and I found this amazing tutorial on how to eat and properly prepare a watermelon. Presented by a man who I can only suggest is Father Christmas hiding out from the CIA. Hello watermelon students, today I'll be doing a tutorial. Watermelon students. We have one serving. One serving of watermelon. One serving is one half of a watermelon. Gotta love how he says one serving is half a watermelon, like, I'm pretty sure that's a couple hundred servings, not just one. I mean, Jesus Christ, have you seen the size of that thing? But anyways, guys, I digress, because today we have an incredibly spicy meme titled Walmart Warfare, fully loaded version. The meme itself is a couple years old, but still, it retains that beautiful spiciness that makes any meme fresh. The video itself is literally a bunch of employees of Walmart running around with nerf guns, shooting each other. You know those really cringy nerf gun zombie battles that a bunch of 10 year old kids did in their backyard? It's just, it's honestly exactly the same. You think with the age there'd be a bit more maturity, but no, no, it's, it's actually somehow worse, so Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's give this video a watch. You just know if a video is going to have a high budget to it when you see an amazingly pre-rendered intro like this. I mean, intros like this actually rival the level of Stomedy with his intros. Guess who it is? Guess again. Wrong! It's Stomedy! Walmart Warfare! I'm actually going to let you in on a little secret here. This is actually unreleased E3 gameplay of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. You can tell by the shockingly realistic graphics and next-gen gameplay. Hey, Kelly. Hi. So already, as you can see, there are two incredibly bad problems with this video as a whole. Firstly, the audio sounds like it was ripped straight from Birdemic. When people talk, the fucking bass increases with no reason, like it's a fucking Skrillex concert. Hi. And secondly, our main protagonist, Carlos Esteban, he looks like a fucking gay porn actor. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Our daddy taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks, especially since they're such good size and all. Yeah, I see that. Your daddy gave you good advice. Yeah, I see that. Your daddy gave you good advice. It gets bigger when I pull on it. Hmm. Mm hmm. Grab my butt. Excuse me? Taste. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for a second, I... Hey, Steve. Hey, Carl. What you got going on here on a little soda break? Oh, no, this is for Kelly. Oh, for Kelly, huh? Yeah. You got something going on? Mm, I kind of like her, but... Yeah? Not yet. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if this was like a shooting of like a failed gay porno, because the acting in it is actually that bad. It does fall under porn acting category like this is literally a porn okay just, just picture it differently right the acting is that wooden they're literal planks of wood at this point i don't want to think too much about if i was you what's that we got something going on no you don't yeah we went out the other night things got kind of hot and heavy oh guys just a little heads up if you didn't pick up already this is the main bad guy. This is the villain of this video. If you couldn't tell by the face twitching every five seconds and by him basically just being a general twat to the other guy. You could also say his ginger hair gives off that he's a villain, but that's just a pretty uninformed 
offensive statement, so I I'm not going to carry that one through. Hey, Carl. How you doing? I'm good. I was going to say, uh, you're doing a great job here. Thank you. You'd be a great fit in the uh, butt section. Hey, uh. Great. I got yeah. you a little something. Oh. Favorite. Oh shit, boy! He got on the Mountain Dew! He could have got an engagement ring, but no, no! He got on the Mountain Dew! In the next scene, we can see Carlos Esteban trying to kill himself by inhaling a bunch of air freshener. <coughs> and after that, he loses his shit and declares all out war on the manager. Excuse me? I don't want to work here anymore. You need to clean your own bathroom. I don't ever want to see you again. Just so you know guys, Walmart are now selling standard issue fragmentation grenades. Do you want to get rid of that really annoying manager at your workplace? Well just buy a Walmart hand grenade and fucking lob it at him. I mean, you'll probably be done for manslaughter and second degree murder, but still, it, just, just fucking do it, alright? Do it as a prank. Start a prank channel. Prank gone wrong. Grenade gone sexual. The worst thing is, imagine all the normal shoppers, because this isn't after hours. You can clearly see people in the background normally casually shopping, you know, just picking up their daily necessities and stuff, and you've just got two men, fully grown men at that, shooting each other with nerf guns, jumping around, throwing grenades, and just horrible green screen effects everywhere. To every single person who shopped at this Walmart, I am so sorry. I, on behalf of everyone at Walmart, I personally apologize for your horrible experience. <laughs> Just when you thought the acting couldn't get any worse, you literally have him perform Grand Theft Auto inside a Walmart. Is that really practical? I'm pretty sure running across the aisles would have been a lot more productive than riding a fucking BMX, but you know, th that's just my opinion. If you want to rub it with your, your Nerf gun, just just do it, alright? I'm really not interested in what you get up to. The worst thing is, I thought that this was like really bad on purpose, like it was aimed at entertaining little kids, but that guy, Carlos Esteban, clearly just dropped an F-bomb right there, pretty much voiding that entire argument. They're riding bikes. They're riding little kids' bikes with stabilizers still attached, and then overlaying motorbike engine music on top. Our daddy taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks, especially since they're such good size and all. I'm guessing that's meant to be like a flak vest or something that absorbed the bullet, but it just looks like a float that a kid wears so they don't drown. Gotta love how the sprinklers are turned on, like, there's probably a fire in one of the aisles, you know, everyone's been evacuating, they're just like, no, 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 we gotta finish off our really edgy action film, then we'll evacuate. If we burn down, it was for the movie. Totally worth it. Just so you all know, that actually happened. He fired a rocket, they had a fight, and he literally fell into the pit of hell itself to a fiery inferno of death and pain. That that actually happened, right? And the, 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 this is a fucking nerf gun battle, right? Nerf gun battle, guys. Ah! 
So, what did we learn in today's video? Uh, don't have a fight with your manager because you'll then fall into a pit of hell. Oh, and also, don't work at Walmart. <laughs>